Hello everyone. In the last session, we are discussed about the commutation. So commutation, what is the meaning of commutation? Commutation is the process which is used to convert AC to DC or DC to AC. Otherwise, we can name it as current reversal taken place. So short circuit coil current reversal. So in that, in this session, we will continue the, the same commutation topic. So here we are discussed about three things. One, brush is completely in contact. That time we have IX coil current is plus IC. IY coil current is minus IC. Next, when brush is equally contact with AB segments, that time IX current is plus IC. IY current is zero. Third position. Brush is completely contact with segment B, then the brush current is become IY equal to plus IC. IY equal to plus IC. So here we need to discuss about the concept how the brush we will discuss about position 3 clearly. In the position 3, what happened? The current IC, how the current current across y conductor is we have to discuss here in that just observe here so this is the current and this is the time period so in the two things are available plus we will get the maximum current is plus ic and the minimum current is minus ic and this is the zero point and at the first position what happened up to the first position 1, up to this position 1, this is a second position and this is at the third position. Up to this position 1, at the position 1 what happened? The current across y, con y conductor is minus IC. Up to position 1, current across here will get plus IC, sorry current is we can take it as plus IC position 1 we have the plus IC so this is the reverse direction actually it is reverse this is the minus IC and this is the plus IC and next this is 0 and IY become this is the IY position it will become minus IC just take the reverse shift into reverse no problem at all so up to initial positions the current will be plus IC so we can name it, we can take it up to position 1, it is plus IC. And at the position 2, the current across Y conductor is 0. So this will be at the position 2, the current value is, this is a 0 point, so it will reach the 0, right. At position 3, this is the position 3. So we will get at position 3, we will get current value is the minus IC. So after third position, the current value will be varied like this. Current value will be varied like this. So this is the, just observe here, the current across Y conductor at position 1, it is plus IC and at position 2, it is 0. And at position 3, it is minus IC. So it will be changed from plus IC to 0 and 0 to minus IC. This is known as the current reversal. How the positive sign will become as the negative sign. So this is named as the current reversal. So this process is nothing but the, this process is nothing but the, we can call it as the commutation. The current reversal in the short circuited coil is known as the commutation. Okay. So we have generally, uh, before that, we will discuss some calculation regarding the commutation. So in that, we already discussed WB is the brush width, WC is the commutator segment width, and WM, mica insulation width, IC is the current per coil. TC is commutation period in second and velocity of the commutator. So 
what is the commutation period we have to learn the definition that is what is the commutation period name itself it is the time taken to complete commutation so just look at the definition here here the definition is is the time required for the commutation to advance a distance of one commutator segment that means that means to complete one commutator segment so what are the commutator segments to complete one commutator segments just observe here where are the commutator segments just look at here so we can name it as if you take this is one commutator segment to complete brush we have a brush is there here the, we have the brush this if you take the brush brush is this position to for example it is at this position and it will reach to this position so the time required to travel from position 1 to position 2 is known as the commutation period this this is the commutator segment so that is the definition it is the time required for the commutation to advance a distance of one commutator segment okay yeah so how we can tell how we can write the formula the commutator segments equaled we can write like this it is the width of the commutator segment and velocity of the commutator segment we can name it as commutator segment width by velocity of the commutator segment then how we will get how we will get the commutator segment and you know we have some relation that is the the relation is commutator segment width plus commutator segment width mica insulation width both will give the brush width that is the thing how just observe here if you look at the diagram this diagram is this diagram this is the brush width wb up to this this part is known as the commutator segments width this part is known as the mica insulation width that's why brush width is combination of these two things so i've written here so from this how can we write the commutator segments width we can write brush width minus the mica insulation width so from that we will get the vc from that we will get the vc so therefore the commutator commutation period tc formula we can write finally the commutation formula tc is nothing but brush width minus mica insulation width by commutator velocity so this is the time commutation period commutation period simple thing it is the time required for the commutation to advance one commutator segments that means it is the time required brush will shift complete the one commutator segment okay right next generally we have depends on the commutation we have three types of commutations those are first thing the ideal commutation three types of commutation process the second thing is over commutation and the third thing is third thing is under commutation under commutation we have these three types of commutations so we will look at what is these types how we can define it first thing ideal commutation if the current reversal current reversal means the simple thing keep in your mind change from plus ic to minus ic takes place exactly within commutation period within commutation period is said to be ideal commutation the straight line commutation or linear commutation we have these types of things so for example we have the same diagram uh, in order to understand this i will draw the same diagram that is about the iy conductor the iy conductor has three position up to first position 
and at zero position and the third position so up to first position this is have plus ic and at we have zero and next we have a third position it will start with minus ic so from this it will change from like this it will become the minus ic okay so this is the plus ic and this is the minus ic okay so the in initially it is at plus ic at this position minus ic at this position so this process conversion from plus ic to minus ic within commutation time within commutation time then it is called as the ideal commutation then it is called as the ideal commutation generally the commutation time we have the exact value that is the 2 millisecond that means 2 into 10 power minus 3 seconds in this time the commutation has to complete then we can call it as the ideal commutation okay so this is about the this is about yeah, commutation period and remaining all these things and about the ideal commutation the remaining commutation we will discuss in the next class okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you